Loft CLI is a lightweight open source command line toolkit designed to make custom language model development accessible to developers working with limited hardware resources. Unlike traditional approaches that require expensive GPU infrastructure, Loft enables developers to fine tune small language models 1 to 2, 3 billion parameter size using low rank adaptation or LoRa adapters entirely on CPU, even on devices as modest as an 8 GB MacBook. This tool provides a complete workflow from training to deployment and in this video we are going to install it locally and we will also see it in action. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. Let's get right into this tool. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and this is my CPU which is quite heavy given that I normally use this system. But as I said, if you have even lower CPU specs, just feel free to use it. Now let me first create a virtual environment with Conda and you can create it with UV or Python virtual environment doesn't matter. It's all same thing. If you're looking to rent a VM on very, very affordable prices or CPU or even GPU, you can find the link to masked compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs and the rates are quite cheap. I'm sure that you are going to love them. Okay, let's go back to our terminal. Our virtual environment is being created. Okay, so once that's done, let's git clone the repo of this loft and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So our repo is done. Let me now install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo in the dev mode and while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and as the installation goes on, let's talk a bit more about this tool. So as I said, this tool provides a complete workflow from training to deployment. Users can fine tune models with their own data, merge the resulting adapters into standalone models, export them to the efficient GGUF format, quantize them for optimal GPU or C sorry, CPU inference and run them locally for privacy privacy first applications this makes loft particularly valuable for developers building local applications who need domain specific customization without cloud dependencies and that could offer a practical alternative to expensive training infrastructure now i think that if this tool or similar tools like these really work this could be really beneficial for maybe classrooms where we have dusty old laptops or you know desktop computers or some rural areas or so-called third world countries where the infrastructure is not that good the internet internet speed is not that good so in those classrooms maybe tools like these could enable the fine tuning of very small models on small data sets just to teach the concepts to the students that uh, i think that could be a good use case of loft or any similar tool like that. Okay, let's go back to the terminal and see what is happening. And the loft repo is installed. Next step, we need to build the llama.cpp. If you don't know what llama.cpp is, just go to my channels, just search with llama.cpp and you should be able to find heaps of tutorials around that. It's an open source library designed for performing inference on LLMs. It is written in C and C++ and mainly it is gets towards CPU. It also works on GPU. Now once the repo of llama.cpp is cloned, all you need to do is to make it and llama.cpp is built. And then the final step in installation is to install all the requirements from the root of the repo. And I believe that they can simplify this installation in the later versions. But anyway, let's do it for now. So primarily it is installing torch transformers and that sort of stuff. 
and everything is eventually installed let's now download a base model i'm just going to go with this tiny llama model remember only use the smaller model with this tool so let's download this and you can see that it is just 2.20 gig and i would even prefer if you just uh, download any sub 1 gig model just around 500 700 uh, meg anyway let's wait for it to get downloaded and the model is downloaded and now we are ready to fine tune this model and in order to fine tune you would need a model and of course you would need a data set for data set i have just grabbed a sample data set from their own repo there are just only two records in this data set and the format is very simple instruction input output there is some instruction and then we are fine tuning the model to return this sort of output so model will get trained on just these two rows just uh, they are trying to show the sample and of course you can have as many rows as you like as per your own use case now if you look at this command this tells you that how easy this tool makes it to fine tune a mo model so loft is fine tuning in first line then model is this tiny llama data set is the json file which i just showed you adapter is where the um, resultant model will be placed and we are just training it for two epochs so two passes will be made now if you don't know what fine tuning is fine tuning means taking a pre-trained model like tiny llama and training it further on your specific data to make it better at your own particular task think of it like teaching a general doctor to specialize in cardiology the basic medical knowledge is already there you are just adding specialized skills lora is short for low rank adaptation lora is a clever technique that makes fine tuning much much more efficient instead of updating all the billions of parameters in a model which requires massive memory and compute lora keeps the original model weights frozen it adds small adapter matrices that learn the differences needed for your task these adapters are tiny 4 mb or something like that for the full model which could be in gbs these adapters or just simply simply matrices are very very small during inference the adapter weights get added to the original weights so instead of rewriting an entire book you can think you just add sticky notes with corrections and additions and you can see that we are primarily using the PEFT here or the parameter efficient fine tuning which is an umbrella term for techniques like LoRa that fine tune model efficiently and PEFT is the library which runs LoRa or a lot of other things like Ada LoRa but don't worry about it for now in the last line we have this gradient checkpointing so what happens is that during training models used to store intermediate calculations which is also called as activation to compute gradients this uses a lot of memory gradient checkpointing saves memory by not storing all intermediate values it recomputes them when needed during back propagation which means that when model is backtracking so it uses less memory but takes slightly longer to train now if you have a limited hardware like you know old laptop this really makes sense so how it all works together we have a base model tiny llama we have a data set in the json file we are do doing lora training where we are creating small adapter files that capture task specific knowledge and then we are using PEFT library to handle the technical implementation and our gradient checkpointing is keeping memory usage low. Let me now run this. And there you go. It was very, very quick as you can see. So you see after loading the data set, completing the training, which was just two records, our LoRa adapter has been created. And if you go to this directory, which is shown, you can see that uh, there you go so in adapter v1 we have our new adapter model created which is a safe tensor so if i go back here there are a lot of key matrices which is also showing like the training losses uh, 4.008 and if you do more epochs more data it will reduce of course 
and it was very fast as you can see okay so now another thing which you can do if you like you can simply merge it with the final model so that right now this is just a lora adopter which we have created now you can simply run this command in order to merge it with your actual model the tiny base model and you can see that it is merging it successfully and there you go you can see that the merge is completed if you check the merged model this is a merged model it is 4.4 gig if i go back and show you that adapter again look at the size of the adapter just 4.5 mb so this 4.5 mb has been added on top of um, the model which was just less than 4.4 gig so model plus that adapter now you can see that we have a full fine-tuned model there now another cool thing which this tool does it also provides you an ability to export that model uh, in gguf format so it is just going to export it in that format and the merging is complete uh, sorry the conversion to gguf format is complete if you go to that directory you will see that now it is in the gguf format which is a quantized um, the format you can even go to the lower quant if you like so you could do something like this where we are using the lower quant and if you want to learn what are these quant levels like u4 q3 q8 just search my channel with quantization levels and i have done a detailed very simple to understand video on it and there you go it has converted it into q4 quant and if you go to that merge models directory you will see now we have q4 and of course you can select any other quantization level and now either you can push this whole model to hugging face through hugging face cli or you can just use it in your local system something like you can chat with it so for example i'm asking it how do i bake a chocolate cake if you remember in its data set we have this information available so if you ask it it is going to load it and behind the scene it is all it is doing it is using llama.cpp that's it no gpu all on cpu there you go so it is running at the moment all local all private how good is that and you can simply just use it you can chat it a bit more whatever you like and uh, you know there you go so you can Simply go in and then uh, train it, fine tune it on your own data and go from there. So hopefully this was useful. I have tried to not only show you the tool with the actual working example, all local, but also we now know the underlying concepts of all that LoRa fine tuning and all that stuff. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Do me a favor, like the video <clears throat> and share it among your network and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.